play. That's my experience for, for, for the Ryzen CP at 2700 X. That's pretty much normal. I mean, that's pretty much normal. I don't see what's the problem with that. If you don't buy the 200 memory, 200 euros memory kit for the Ryzen CPU, like Seal 14, and if you don't have, like, let's say, at least 10, 1070 Ti, I mean 1070 at least, you don't really expect way too much. Unfollowing 3, 2, 1. It's, it's possible, but it's possible only 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 with like some heavily overclocked Intel CPUs. Look at my FPS bro, how can you tell like it's not possible when it's possible? I'm getting it right now. What do you mean like it's not possible? It is possible, but it requires way too much. That's the real. That's the real word. It's requiring way too much. It's not normal. What, what does it require? From you to actually play it at 144. I heard that there are settings and you can that force the game. I didn't touch any of this. I didn't touch any of this, but. How are you doing, folks? Did John fall already, or, or are you gonna stay stay here and wait for me to grow up, grow up the beard again? You can get easily 144, it just requires way too much. Like I can I can increase my FPS right now if I was about to pay hefty price for the good memory kit. Like some really really fast memory kit, but the thing is like that that would require the bigger investment to buy the mem uh, not memory but the motherboard that, that can carry on that much. You know, because this one is like we not so great memory controller, so I can increase like at least five to nine FPS with a good memory, and I would increase like another ten to fifteen with a with a 2080 Ti because of the RTX. You know, those GPUs get a little bit better drivers than than the older one. That didn't really give a fuck about the older GPUs that much. So there is that. I tried the minute and like this. I'm using the 430 something point something. Works good for me. And I had to down clock my CPU a little bit because I don't know was the game an issue or something else, but. I was passing like all the benchmarks for the CPU stress testing and yet again I was crashing in this game. See I went by 4.9 now. Cause I'm not sure like was it that or something else we'll see in the future. Oh that guy is not even there, okay. Oh yeah, yeah sure buddy. Where's that one dude, like what the fuck? It's not that NVIDIA doesn't tank drivers, it's AA software that tanks NVIDIA. Hmm. Oh, I, mean, I can't say shit to be honest. Like, I cannot even complain to be honest, like my game works really good. Whatever I say, it's... I remember my bad days and I remember the good days and this is like right now for me it's good days. Like, I came from, from the 45 FPS all the way here, so... I cannot tell you how to fix your game, but I can tell you how I fixed mine, and I think I did it like multiple times. First of all, 
it was getting the older Windows 10. First step for me. Then everything sent by memory in the background every five minutes. That. Then the latest drivers for the GPU. That. That. Then moving from the Ryzen towards the Intel. That as well. I had bad experience with the Ryzen for this game. For the other games, it was kind of okay ish. For the Rust, was pretty bad. For the PUBG, was pretty bad as well. So I decided to go with Intel. Because I didn't want to buy the really expensive memory, which Ryzen does require from you to actually get good FPS. Latency, it's all about the latency, not just the speeds. CL14 is must have if you want to get like got like performances, and that costs like a kidney, alright? All I want for Christmas is summer. <laughs> hey, Eddie can you help our brother in need to fix his Ryzen machine, dude? Like, he got like 2700x and says that. Cannot go above the 60 FPS without the drops, man. Tell him, tell him, tell him what he needs to know about the memory, dude. Like, first, first, and 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 and, and only thing that needs to know about the memory on the Ryzen platform. Tell him that, man. He don't want to listen to me, man. People think it's all about the speed, but nothing about the latencies, you know. How are you, by the way? Yeah, yeah, there are two spots, man. I was FK like 10 minutes. Because I'm in Q now. Alright, just let me know once you hop in. So we can remove them. It's only me and uh, Nurn. Really good dude. Where is that guy? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a super surf pool. Yep, but you need to play around with the latencies like a lot about the timings. You need to know what you're doing, right? And a good memory costs a lot, costs a kidney. Says once he removes the V-Sync off, you know, like his FPS rises, like like maximum FPS is really good, but the loads are really bad. That's what he said. Like the FPS goes like because he got like 60 hertz monitor, right? And his FPS is locked on the 60 with the missing con. Once he removes it, he gets like 100, like the I you know, like spikes towards 100 and goes back to 40s. But once once he got like the missing con, locks the 60 and never goes below that. So I don't really know what that could be like. In my opinion, it could be anything, dude. Like, it could be that the GPU is hitting like a lot once you remove the missing and. Uh, once it hits up, it goes back to Narnia, and then it cools on for a second and goes back to normal. Could be that. I don't know. Could be the drivers as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna see which one is the worst. Let me press the tab. Oh, they're both at the same level. Okay, remove them both, lul. Bum. Bum, okay. Yeah, that's odd. Like, once you remove the v you should get, like, a better, better FPS, right? Higher FPS, and it shouldn't go back to 40s, right? Because once you have the v sync off on and it's not going to 40s, then I don't see any reason to go below the 60s once you get the v sync off, right? You should get like more FPS because you're removing the, the limit, right? You're removing the lock, FPS lock, pretty much, and you should get better FPS overall. Uh, 1060, I think. But I don't really think that the GPU is an issue because I got the 1060. I can, I can do it for the lols once they come back from the gym. I can put my 1060 in the computer so you guys see that it can maintain like 100 stable like all the time. Hey Adrian Duck, it's gone. Welcome back brother. It's gone bro. Beard is no more. If you don't believe me that 1060 is capable of running 100, I'm gonna put it in the computer. And it's not gonna be not even the 6 gigs, it's gonna be the 3 gigabytes version, alright? Okay, let me smoke. Let's smoke. Come to another one, Yo. So I don't think it's the GPU issue, to be honest, like... The GPU should be perfectly capable of running on a low settings, like 100 plus, around 100 at least. Same, 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 pretty much same. Smells like something else, smells like a... Bad OC or no OC at all, or bad memory, like... Weird memory, you know, like the latency issues, bunch of other problems, maybe drivers, maybe windows, could be anything at this point, you know? Yeah, no, I know. And here's the 66 gigabytes version, so 
even less likely to be an issue, right? On 1080p panels. So I don't really know what that could be. I need to see the computer in person to, to do some testings to see what up. Yeah. But for the, for the FPS dips, stings a lot, bro. Like, stings a lot. Hey, Brett Holes, what up? How are you doing, brother? Welcome back. Like, drops towards the 40 FPS, stings something really bad, dude. Like, it could be anything. Could be bad power supply once you, like, remove the limitations. It's shooting up a little bit more power and it's having those hiccups, you know? Yeah, the difference is minor, right? If, if you look the if you look if you look at all the testings how the Ryzen scales it's not about that much about the frequency it's all about the memory why is the good memory and it's gonna be just fine the frequency is not no gain that much with it but the memory is like everything dude when it comes to the Ryzen CPUs when it comes to the Intel that one profits a lot from the frequency and not so much from the memory oh it's gone dude it's gone. I sold, uh, I, I, I sold it on the eBay, brother. People wanted to pay like a lot, you know, like. So like, we need, we need Jack Carlos beer, dude. JK, I actually, you know what I did? I kidnapped him, you know, and uh, he's like right now in my in my basement, and I'm asking for the ransom to get him back. All right. Oh yeah, good stuff. Where's the guy? Nice. He's in my basement. I'm his brother, okay. He's not gonna come back to stream like anytime soon. I took him away. Oh yeah, the guy here. Yeah, bounce from five, dude. Bounce from five, man. Two steps. Okay. Can I have the medic pack? Are you? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, stay for a few days. That guy is dead, dude. Okay, where is it? It's in the dumpster already, pretty much. <laughs> now they can call me cheating kid, like, with a lot of sense right now, because I look like one, right? So, they can call me cheater kid, shit trash player. Makes more sense. Where's that one? What's there? Be up there right now. Let's see up. Oh come on, dude! Like, can I go up, please? Oh yeah. Nice. Now you look like Smeko Italian right now. Who's Smeko? Smeko or Smeko? Who's Smeko, dude? Oh yeah. I don't even know what's that, but it, I don't know. Feels good, all right. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Nice, nice push, bro. I don't really see you. You're invisible. Oh, I saw you actually. Oh wait, nice. 18 bullets left. Oh yeah, guy on top of that. Pretty much beaten up here. Oh yeah, the sniper on me. Good stuff. Can I get him? Hey, of course I can, nice. Don't have S. Hmm, Smeko. Oh, you have the Sh, that one. You mean Smeko, probably. Wait. Oh, no ammo, buddy. Oh, can someone get him? Please. Ah, oh, come on, dude. No Sumnik for me. What's Sumnik? Eh, eh, eh. Alright. English keyboard. Yeah, same. But you can write it like this. Like this. If it's sh, just write it like this, man. That means uh, literally that sh. S H. If you meant that, right? That would be like sh. S H. Oh, yeah, buddy. I'm gonna hit. Oh yeah, where is that? Dude, like... Stop shooting me! Hey, that's not fair. I don't even see you. Oh, okay. We have now taken objective data. 
Jebe mu, dajs. Jebe mu, dajs, da mu jebe. What are you doing, dajs? Where is that guy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sure, dude. Good stuff. <laughs> End your life, 2019, no. Answer to that is no. Thanks, buddy. Oh yeah, where's that from? Are you for real camping down there? Oh yeah, there's a guy here. No hitbox. Mm, no hitbox again. The CPUs are looking good. Yeah, I like actually the... Yeah, it's called the 16 tread one that came like... Well, yesterday, I think. But even the, the, the 12 core looks good, man. I've seen... I mean, I don't know what kind of testings they did yet, but I've seen that on the 1080p. The 3900X is surpassing the Intel CPU in the CSGO. And you know what that means, right? You probably know what it means. Better better single core, right? Yo, who do we got? Lynx Holo, appreciate the follow, my dude. Lynx Holo, appreciate the follow. Wow, what a rhyme. How you doing, brother? 650 for the 16 core, right? Yeah, I know, but... It's fucking... Ridiculous stuff. If, if you can actually do something with it, it's not even that much, you know. You're so good, like really, man. Ah, uh, no, disagree. Oh yeah, dude. Run, 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 run. run. Let's say you're streaming, right, and you want to do it like from one computer. I think that's pretty much perfectly doable with that one, you know. So you don't really have to build like two machines, and yet again, you get like a really nice computer for the stream. You get like a really nice computer for editing. Really nice for the gaming. So yeah, the, the benchmarks show that on 1080p, those CPUs are doing better than, better than the Intel. I just don't know like what they did, like stock or stock or what, what was the you know thing you know what they did there. So I really need to see that later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So I would like to see like what kind of a testings they did, but that's pretty impressive if it's true, right? Let's say, let's go with that, like, like it's true, all right? Like, the, the information is okay, it's true, like, that, that's 1080p, dude, like, that's what I care about, so basically, there is a good potential that it can be better in Battlefield 5 as well, with the Ryzen CPUs, finally, you know? We just need to see, like, what kind of testings they did, like, what kind of a memory they use, what kind of a motherboards we need to use, like, all that stuff, you know? And once we get all that information, then we, we can talk about it, like, how good is it or how bad is it, right? But I think it's gonna be good, man, in my opinion. What's your score right now? Uh, 60 to 4, dude. I'll still wait for benchmark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same, same, same. I'm thinking about the same. Also, if you buy the latest one, right? If you buy the 16 core CPU, there is a thing that once, once you buy that CPU and pay that much, you know, if they release the new one, let's say next year, some refresh, refresh or something, then you lose like a value, you know? So you don't really wanna buy the highest, you know? Because you don't wanna lose the money that much, you know? I like to change things, so I don't like to lose money, which means that I don't want to buy the latest stuff, you know. I think it's gonna be fine, in my opinion. But I don't really know why never, on Earth, the less threat CPUs, they never reach like higher clocks. Like, just imagine if that was like, a thing, you know, like, let's say you want to buy the 664 12 threat CPU, right? It would be good that that CPU could high could hit like higher frequency than the higher thread one, you know, that would be fun. I would like to see that, like let's say the 12 thread CPU, like 12, 12 core and 24 thread can go like about like let's say 4.5. I would like to see the 6 thread, 6 core, 12 thread CPU can hit 5.0, you know. I would like to see that, you know. I don't know why that never happens, you know, that less thread CPUs can hit higher frequencies. That would be fun actually, for the gaming, you know. Uh, it would be funny if actually it was that way, you know. 